the perception of Africa is the images that are uh, telecasted in the Western world. Is that what you see on television that becomes your image in your mind? Africa is full of poverty. Africa is full of trouble. Africa is full of civil strife. You see animals, beautiful parks, Maasai Mara, Serengeti. It's a big national park as a continent. When you come here, it's very different. <laughs> we are working on uh, wildlife. We can make any animal, anything so long as you have the photograph. We like Mzungu, they buy our product. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, Africans, you see nowadays, they own hotels. So even Africans, they buy our product. It's very different. Yes, we are busy. Yeah. I don't like the way they think about Africans. Long time ago when we began seeing new people coming to take some photographs from this area, they used to make money out of what they are doing. I said I don't want to see anybody taking my photograph. It used to be a business uh, established by my great-grandfather that dealt in cloth, cloth which was imported from other countries around the world. What we are making can also reach certain markets, not only locally, but internationally. And this street was originally established for the Indian businessmen. This is now in the early 1900s. And they were just small tin shacks. They went from tin shacks to factories. How did they do it? What will we do with our tin shacks? If you don't have money, you sort of end up in this rut. It's like a cycle. Such a person is considered to be somebody poor. Imagine, how did they do it? How are you allowed to think outside that? To grow a business, to start a business, to try your hand at anything how things move, how things come in. They have a way of working out a loan system. I was in fact loaned money by my father-in-law and by another uncle. And same thing. How did they do it? Which door do you want us to open for you? We will put in a word for you. We will help you with the finance. And you pay us back when you can. My dad and my uncle actually had a tailor shop. Within a space of a, maybe a year, I think I paid them back. How are you allowed to think outside that? And then the NGOs come and they're making the same kinds of loans. Micro this and micro that. You see what I mean? Hey, what's this, huh? What will we do with our tin shacks? not so micro for a lady who wants to start a business. Accessing international market, we need to make things that can be sold all over the world. Africa is becoming a supermarket of imported goods. We have a, a young population. The inflow of talent coming into the labor pool is very high. We're going to have 1.1 billion people of working age on the continent of Africa. That is bigger than China, bigger than India. To do some business as a lady, it improves your life than to depend on a, a man. Eh? It is not so micro for a lady who wants to start a business. Uh, you've seen the revolution that m has brought. It's like the credit card, but on your phone. You know if I lose my phone, it's just like losing the business. They are funding that in other countries. No. The big companies are getting it wrong. Okay, I send Vesa. I, I mean, I send money to my mama. No?
it's alien for somebody in the West to even think that you can buy two kilos of potatoes on airtime. It's alien. It's an informal banking system. 70% of our population is under the age of 30. So it's a young population. It's technology savvy, this population. And here, there are grandmothers sitting in villages who are actually getting 100 shillings on their phone through their son who's working in the city. It's a new revolution. And the fact that it reaches everyone, not just in towns or cities, it reaches people in the village. There's a lot of ignorance out there. And people don't know Africa, and the perception and reality are different. Their images of Africa is hunger, poverty. You know, your perception is your reality. Africa is transforming. The rest of the world doesn't seem to see that. But we are on the ground here. I see Africa transforming. Just look out, just look out here. Look at the house. Yeah, yeah, we'll do a couple. Yeah. So we'll go, we'll go out nice and tall. Just wait. Yeah.